ticky. The pound surging to a 12-month high, that graphic quite extraordinary, but investors love certainty and with the thumping majority, it looks like Johnson's going to have just that. Incredible day, I have to say, at last <laughs> for both Britain and for, for the markets. I had money on a, a, a clear majority, but no way did I see 86 seats if these exit polls are correct. Now, as mm. Ed Conway, the economist at Sky, was uh, walking you through that just now, this massive, massive jump uh, just when the exit polls were released. And as he said, it does, it does, and as you say, reflects uh, a new confidence in Britain. I'd love to see what Mark Carney is is saying tonight at home, the, yeah. the governor of the Bank of England, who has been consistently negative all the way through ever since the, the Brexit referendum. Um, and, uh, and, and I think now even he has to concede that this confidence in Britain, which will lead to investment, that actually there's a clear enough majority to get Brexit done, which was the brilliance behind uh, brilliance behind Boris Johnson's campaign. A little bit of Linton Crosby there, I would imagine. But it's one of these elections mm. where it's like it's time. It's those three words. And from business's point of view, the consequences of having a Corbyn government, a Corbynista government for many people in business, was truly horrifying. So I think that confidence reflects that movement in the pound. But I wouldn't take away any Thing from uh, Boris Johnson's victory, both in the clarity of his message and the fact that, that uh, I mean, I actually do think the way he's been able to bring Labour across, not just the Brexiteers within Labour, but this mm. confidence that they'll get out of this mess um, is, uh, is yeah. very impressive. Yeah, indeed. And a, a perfect storm for Labour. Not only were they uh, really ambiguous in terms of Brexit, this idea that uh, Corbyn would do a deal but not necessarily back the deal, not to mention the, the doubts about him, his unpopularity, and then to have this clarity from, um, from Johnson mm. that the British people obviously are craving right now, and certainly the markets are, as we saw the pound flying, surging. Mm. It, well, exactly. And you only have to look at what's happened with the Lib Dems and Joe Swinson. Joe Swinson, I think, might even, her seat, her own seat, might be under pressure there. Uh, they've got, gone up one, but really, they, they are not part of the game. They ran on the Remain ticket. You'll hear a lot from Sky UK about Scotland, uh, as we have been. Every, everybody's into uh, how well the Scottish National Party uh, under Nicola Sturgeon have done. And yes, and that'll be the talk now, you know, is there going to be a second referendum? But that's not the main story. The main story today is this extraordinary victory for the Conservatives uh, and for, for Boris Johnson. And it means that they will now potentially be able to get a phase one Brexit through in January. Uh, potentially, I mean, if you look at his commitments, uh, were he to get a, a stonking majority, it is all about getting Brexit done within a year, not delaying, moving to uh, a, a new deal with Europe. I mean, half the Remainers, uh, you know, were arguing that, oh, you know, it's almost as if there would never be another deal with Europe. Mm. I mean, this is about getting yeah. a new deal with Europe and moving on. And it's so important for markets uh, generally. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thrilled for Britain. Yeah, and you know, Tiki, talking to the British here, and I mean that they're, they're officials in Australia as well, we talk about the New Deal for Europe, but this is a New Deal more broadly, isn't it, as well? We've got our, for example, our Pacific step up. The British have their, uh, basically the same name. I think it's Upstep or something. Basically, yes. they're stepping up their presence in the Pacific. They want to do an FTA with us. We'll be one of the first cabs off the rank. So in terms of Australia-Britain relationship uh, and yep. relations on an economic sense, that, that again provides a foundation for that to be renewed. Oh, totally. And, uh, and we've had, including Boris Johnson, a, a number of ministers out here in the last 12 months looking towards hoping, because they haven't actually been able to do any, any, uh, any sort of uh, uh, you know, hard work on, on an FTA because uh, the, the, the whole situation prevented them from doing it. Now, an FTA and work on this can go forward uh, publicly, um, you know, very, very quickly after, after we've got phase one done. 
done, as I, as I understand it, um, and, uh, and you will see uh, a new level of relations. Look, it is, a, it is a, a wonderful traditional relationship, Britain and Australia, an enormous amount of, mm. of investment already there, but the including the, the enormous defence deal which was done in the, in, in the last 18 months. But, um, but in terms of opportunities for small businesses in Australia, um, the, the um, very similar uh, views and expertise that we have on things like cyber and five eyes, um, tech, uh, infrastructure, uh, Australia and Britain mm. are leaders in this space and there's a lot of opportunity there. Yep, indeed. That's so very true, Tiki, across a range of industries. I think right now, within the Labor Party as well, as vast swathes of the British community, certainly even in our community, there'd be relief that Corbyn didn't win, uh, given some of his previous views and, and associations and so on. But what we've seen here is extraordinary from Johnson, if the exit poll is proved accurate, because he's kept... He's basically kept the Tories who wanted to remain and he's won the Labor voters who wanted to leave. Mm. Uh, he's been able to achieve both and, uh, and that is quite some triumph. It's, as I say, it's an enormous triumph. And I think, I have to say, I think he was helped by the, the UK Telegraph and the right-wing tabloids who right up to the very end were saying, no, 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 this is a knife edge, this is a knife edge. The polls are saying it's a knife edge. Um, you know, you've really got to get out there, there uh, and vote. But once again, not to take anything away from him, I, I mean, I think he, he is a, a, an extraordinary creature, Boris Johnson, and uh, he clearly has a lot of affection. Uh, it's love, actually. Um, he, he, he clearly has a lot of uh, um, mm. uh, support. It, it's sort of almost like a cool Britannia thing when Blair came in. I mean, there is this now identification with Boris Johnson as something great, great is happening uh, with mm. Britain. And I think that's why he pulled a lot of the, the punters with him um, as well, as, given that, you know, all the different issues that were mixed up with Brexit. It is a Brexit election. It's not just immigration. It's a whole lot of sovereignty, which I think people outside Britain find incredibly difficult to, to understand. Um, but I think mm. as a character and as a personality, he's been able to, to capture the heart of Britain. Yep, and uh, Tiki, thanks so much for your insights. We'll